Greetings, all you digital daredevils. It is I, Eric Dilliman, your course coordinator for OnRamp's Computer Science 302, coming back at you today to talk about automated summarization. So to start off with, the first thing I did is I created a new sheet down at the bottom, and I did that by clicking the New Worksheet button. And I'm going to call this Automated Summarization. The way that we're going to define automated summarization is the ability to make a shortened text using a computer program. One way that we can employ this methodology is by creating a word cloud. A word cloud, essentially, looks at the frequency in which words appear in a text and then changes the relative size of those words based on the frequency. In the example that we're looking at, we pulled the words from your big data module and we mapped the relative frequency of them. And you can see, uh, as we might expect, that much of the focus of that module was on data, therefore that word is the largest, whereas a word like identity might be smaller because it might not appear with the same type of frequency. The example that we see here was created using a website called Wordle.net. And it's an excellent tool for creating an automated summarization of a website or for a written text. However, if we have a large data set that is in CSV or an XLS format, then Wordle.net is probably not a great choice for us. Tableau will offer some of the same functionality, but be able to parse through longer data sets. So let's see how we do that in Tableau. Down here under measures we have a number of records. If I double click that it's going to bring it over into the rows column and we know that there's roughly 40,000 crimes that took place. Now if I wanted to create an automated summarization of the names of those crimes I would come over here and I would choose highest offense description. That's the title, that's the official name of those crimes. I'm going to double click that and it's going to create a table for me. Now an automated summarization is not a bar graph. What we need to do instead is we need to change the relative size of these crime names by the frequency in which they appear. So a crime like theft would be written in a very large font whereas a crime like manslaughter would be very tiny. There's a couple different ways that we can accomplish this in Tableau. We're going to find those in the Show Me menu up here. When I click it, it will reveal all the different ways that we can present this data. One of the ways is a tree map, and that's this icon right here. When I click that, it's going to graph uh, the crime relative to the size, the amount of entries in our database. So now we've created a visual way of seeing the frequency that these different crimes occur in Austin. You may remember from our previous video that it's possible for you to change the color just by clicking this down arrow right here. Click Edit Colors and you can select the gradient of your dreams to represent this data. I'm going to do red and green again and click Apply. It's going to do it in reverse from the way I'd like it so I'm going to click Reversed to put it back and now the highest frequency crimes are in red and the lowest frequency crimes are in green, as you can see. Another useful way to show this data might be by using bubbles. If I click this icon right here under the Show Me menu, it's going to convert the graph into this type of a layout. And we can add a little bit of color to this by grabbing number of records down from measures and dragging it over into color. And now we have the same color scheme that we had under our tree map. As always, I want to encourage you to play around in Tableau to see what you can come up with. This is a great place to let your creativity roam. So that'll just about wrap up our discussion of how to accomplish an automated summarization for your TEDx kind of project. As always, this has been Eric Dilliman, your course coordinator for OnRamp's CS302, signing out. Until next time, all you digital natives.